Alright, what's going on everyone? My name is Cameron. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, today, I'm going to have kind of a short video uh, just on kind of a simple utility that Towery, uh, that Towery gives us um, for dealing with um, making our app a little more production-y um, in the sense that we will be able to add uh, custom app icons. So what I mean by this is uh, take, for example, any of the any of the applications that I have here, uh, looking at these these icons that are produced um, by you know whoever whoever is distributing them, uh, we'll be looking at actually doing the same for our application. Uh, I'm going to link some guidelines down in the uh, in the description below. I struggled with this myself uh, when creating my own application, which I'll talk about uh, in future videos. Um, but struggled with uh, kind of figuring out the size, the size for uh, for like modern Mac applications, um, and so I'll leave some guidelines down in the description below for uh, for those of you who uh, know how to create your own assets. Um, but for today, what we're going to be looking at is just using their tool to populate the icons directory in our application. So if I fire this up from the terminal. Again, I'm just using a base uh, quick start uh, from a Towery Create. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll once again leave a card up above so that you can follow that to the getting started for this. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just do cargo Towery Dev to fire up my application. That's going to present me with my app. And you'll notice I'm getting just the uh, out of the box shipped app icon. Uh, and this is what we want to replace. So with that being said, I've already before this video uh, created my app icon. So if I kind of shrink my window here and check out my app icon, I've just created this simple app icon. It's a 512 by 512. Uh, Canvas with a 412 by 412, uh, 412 by 412 actual uh, icon, or I, I, don't, I don't know the the design um, terminology for for what this would be, but basically uh, that's just kind of the dimension for what this square here is. Um, and again, that'll all be in the guidelines that I, I drop in the description. Um, and the goal is to use this for our application. So in order to do that, uh, make sure that you have the latest version of the Towery CLI. You can do that by uh, doing uh, Towery install, I'm sorry, Towery install, cargo install uh, Towery CLI. As you can see, I already have the latest version. So once you've done that, what you'll want to do is change directory into your source Towery directory. You don't have to do this. This is just the simplest form. We'll go over a couple of variations of this. Um, but change directory into your source Towery directory. And then from there, you're going to say cargo Towery icon. And then the path to your app icon. So if you if inside of your source Towery directory, you have a app-icon.png. I'll leave again a link to, in the description to um, to the actual CLI tool that we're using, so you can kind of see the defaults. Um, if you have that in this directory, it will just automatically pick up on that. But otherwise, you'll need to specify a directory. So in my case, it's on my desktop. So I'm going to do desktop slash app icon dot png, and then. I'm not going to specify any output because I'm in the source towery directory. It will automatically pick up on the icons directory that is here in this uh, here in this directory. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and get that going, and you'll see it actually created all of the assets that I needed. So if I now open here and I look, you'll see all of the assets that I need. So now if we go ahead and we say cargo towery dev, it's going to fire up our application once again. And there you have it. We have our app icon. So 
uh, j just to kind of uh, rehash this, let's. Uh, what I'm going to do is is I'm going to I'm going to do that, and then what I'm going to do is is let's say that I am actually on my desktop for some reason where my where my app icon is. So you can see my app icon is here. What you'll what you could do now is you could do cargo towery icon. I could leave this blank I, for the sake of demonstration for, because because I'm actually in a directory with an app icon uh, file. I could just leave this blank, but for the sake of the tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and do app icon.png and then I can specify an output directory. So let's go ahead and do my dev directory uh, slash YouTube Towery Tutorials Source Towery and then I want to do this in icons. And this dash O here is just a shorthand for the output flag for the icon CLI or the icon command under the towery CLI. So everything was done. So now I can't, let's go ahead and I'm going to change directory back into my YouTube, into my YouTube, full, uh, YouTube towery video tutorial uh, folder. Uh, I need to, I need to update this really quick so that I can so that I don't have to do two different uh, commands. But now if I do, and then I did it anyway. But now if I do cargo towery dev, uh, basically I was just setting up the before dev command because the master directory, or the master or the main branch doesn't have. Uh, have that set up, but as you can see, it's doing it again uh, because those files were were generated. So uh, you could do that either of those ways, and it will work. And that is how you will create your application icons, uh, at least for at least for uh, I don't want to say at least for Mac, but um, the guidelines that I will present or I will leave in the description are for Mac icons. Um, but any whatever asset that you generate. Uh, obviously, this is kind of a quick way of getting that shipped for basically everything. So uh, I hope you found this video informative. If there, if you have any questions, feel free to leave those in the comments down below. As always, uh, if this is helpful for you, give us a thumbs up. Uh, if not, feel free to give us a thumbs down and leave a comment as to what we could do better in the future. Thanks everyone for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.